fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. But the frontier courts were primitive, and due to the incompetence of the local sheriffs, a capture did not always lead to a conviction. It was only when the courage and resourcefulness of the Lone Ranger were placed in the balance that justice was sure to triumph. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Luke Daly's trial begins today! We've got to hurry! Hurry on, Silver! Away! Judge Wilkie rapped for attention with his gavel and... Now, folks, folks, this here's a court of law. No sense acting like he was to home. Just quiet down now. You, Clem, put that pack of cards away. Or to gamble, the cafe's a place for us. Baldy, get that jug down. I've been watching you. You've had enough. <clears throat> Court's now in session. Luke Daly, there, is charged with horse stealing, rustling, Stage robbing, Charge. claim jumping, robbery armed, Charge. and cheating at cards. None of which is looked all with favor in these parts. Charge! Don't be in such a hurry, Zeke. You'll get your chance to present the evidence and tell the jury all about it in just a second. But there ain't no evidence, Judge. Uh, huh? It's been stolen. <laughs> Quiet! Quiet! Uh, now, what's that you said? It's gone. Every doggone bit of evidence we had is gone. Ask the sheriff. Somebody broke in his office last night and stole it. Is that right, John? Jake, give it to you straight, Fred. Somebody forced the lock, busted my desk, and cleaned it out. Why ain't you told me before this? Well, I... I had done without half my dinner to get here in time. We only just now found it out. Fine sheriff you are. How was I to know anybody would do a thing like that? You figure I'm to stand guard on that evidence 24 hours a day? Well, you can keep... what are you going to do about me? If you got the evidence, try me. If you ain't, you got to let me go. Now, wait. That's right, right, Your Honor. The prosecution has just admitted there ain't no evidence. This is clearly a shameless attempt to railroad an innocent man to jail. And I protest at such gross injustice. I appeal to you as an upright... Here! Here! Here now! That'll be enough. We ain't going to have no speeches. Uh, Zeke. Uh-huh. Have you or have you not evidence against the prisoner, Luke Daly? I, uh... uh well, we still got Milk Cummins uh, to testify for us. You ready to carry on the prosecution, depending on Milk to get you a conviction? Um, if you give me a little time... I'll give you a week. Court's adjourned till a week from today. The they can't hold my client. You reckon they can, Greg. Uh, Sheriff. Yeah? Take the prisoner back to the calaboose. 
And if he's stole from you, I'll have you up for contempt of court. If Luke gets out, I'll resign. Uh, Your Honor. Well? I'd appreciate having a word in private with my client before he jailed again if it's all the same to you. Sure, go ahead. It just don't take all day. Sure thing. All right, show's over. Clear the courtroom. Get on about your business. Oh, Mr. Gregg, now, Luke, don't you worry. This didn't work out just the way I figured. But you got my word, you won't never be convicted. But you said they'd have to let me loose. I'll fix it. The evidence is gone for good. Burned up. But how about Neil Cummins? He can tell plenty about me. <laughs> yeah? He knows about the claim jumping and the time. Shut up, up, you fool. But I can't. Neil Cummins won't open his mouth. You hear that? You keep still and be glad to do it. Now go on back with the sheriff. I'll see to milk tonight. <laughs> That night. Well, there you have it, Milt. You're going to say half the things you claim to know about Luke, you forgot. The rest you ain't so sure of as you was. Well, you do this to me, Greg. I've got a client to defend. He isn't going to be convicted. He's guilty as a man can be. He's the rottenest skunk ever come to this town. <laughs> and if he's convicted, I get $100 for my fee. He goes loose, I get 1000 there's only one answer to a proposition like that. You're defending him, knowing him the crook he is. Why not? Well, it's nothing to surprise a man. You've been crooked enough yourself in your time. Likely you could tell what happened to the evidence that was stole. <laughs> Perhaps. I'll have to think it over. Court don't convene again for another week. I, I wish I knew what to tell you. No, that ain't it. I reckon I savvy what I ought to do plain enough. What I mean is, I wish I had the nerve to tell you to go to blazes. I wouldn't if I was you. The next thing, you'd find yourself right where Luke is, with less chance of getting out. Oh, these years. <laughs> I got a good memory, Milt. And this ain't the first time it served me a good turn. Sure, I can recollect what happened 15 years ago, just like it was yesterday. And maybe if you don't behave yourself, I'll start recollecting right out loud, where the law can hear me. You'd better go now. Sure. I'd like to ask Mary about this. Mary? Your wife? Uh-huh. We always talk things over when they ain't real clear. Right level-headed Mary is, too. She's never yet said to do a thing that was wrong. But your wife's been dead for the past five years. That long? Don't seem like it sometimes. Fact is, I've never been able to really convince myself she's left me. See there. See that rocking chair? Well, sir, that's where Mary always sat. She'd sit there by the hour just rocking. What? So now, when I want to ask her things, I sit there myself. I rock a bit like she done, and the first thing you know, there she is standing beside me, smiling real pretty. And mighty nigh as young looking as the day we run away to get married. <laughs> Ain't the time to listen to such nonsense. Just see that you let me know what you plan to do before the trial starts up again. Good night. You hear him, Mary, did you? Sounded like you kind of misdoubted what I told him about you and me, didn't it? Honey, I'm in a fix. Seems like sometimes, no matter how hard a man tries, the deck stacked against him. Look at what's happened. Here's this fellow, Luke Daly, a no good if there ever was one. He's in jail right now, and he ought to be kept there. And I'm the man can make sure he is. Gosh, I don't know, Mary. I tell what I know up there in court, and they'll be jailing me, too. It ain't an easy thing to face. I'm getting along, and I've always been well thought of. But just the same, if I keep still and Luke goes free, it'll be a rotten trick on folks that have been my friends. Ah, Mary, what's a man to do? following morning. And by a thunder, I'll go to the sheriff. Go ahead, Greg. That's your privilege. I can't stop you. But it's like I've just said. I've got to give my testimony. You don't. I do. It's what Mary wants. You gone clean, loco? No, nope. I'm seeing things straight. You know what this means? Uh-huh. Jail. Maybe 
Maybe even hang him. And you'd rather risk that than keep shut? I told you it's what Mary wants. You old fool! You talk and you will hang. I'll see to that myself. You'll hang and I'll be watching. And the only thing I'll be sorry for is that you can't hang twice. Well, good day. Oh, no. No, wait, Milt. Now, wait. What's the use in your acting like this? What's the good of it? You think the folks around here are going to thank you for testifying? I got to do it. Look. Look here. I'll admit Luke's a crook. See? I'm admitting it. That if I get him clear, I'll make him promise to light out. I'll make him promise to leave the state. So he can rob and steal from folks somewhere else? Nope, nothing doing. I, I'll split with you. I'll give you half the thousand he's going to pay. It ain't no use. I've decided. Why, you some singing hypocritical skunk. I'll... You'll do what? what? Finish it, Greg. You'll do what? <laughs> Go on. Well, I, I was... Never mind these guns. They'll stay in their holsters. Finish that threat. What's this to you? The moment Hannah told me what happened yesterday at the trial, I knew you'd try to reach Milt. I've been following Milt just to see what your next trick would be. You're as crooked as your clients. You can't. Like most of your clients, you'll finish in jail or at the end of a rope. I tell if you. I have to put you there myself. Stranger. You're coming with me, Milt. Oh, wait, listen. I'll listen later. Come along. Where to? Camp. Don't think I didn't mean what I told you, Milt. Don't you think it for a minute. And I'll get you too, masked man. You'll have the chance, Greg. Because I'll be back. Get aboard. Stranger, I don't say. You will. Yep, with you. Come on, Silver. Hey, oh, Silver, away! Silver flashed through the town and raced northward across open rangeland. Come on, old fellow! Stretch out those great legs of yours! Head for the woods, Silver! Tell us waiting at camp! The mighty stallion carrying double finally reached a small wood. And there his master drew rein. Oh, oh, Silver! Oh, boy! Oh, oh, there! All right, Milt. Mr. That was a ride. No, no. Now, what we expected, Greg can't afford to let Milt reach court, and Milt won't, if Greg can help us. Milt. Yes? I heard most of your conversation back there. How much of it was true? Has Greg anything on you? Can he get you jailed? He can, stranger. I see. I won't ask you what's behind it. That's your business, and it's in the past. Right now, I'm interested in just two things. Keeping Luke Daly in jail and seeing that Greg joins him there. Mister. Well... I'm going to ask you the same as Greg did. What's all this to you? I want to see justice done. Luke is the kind of criminal who breaks the law with guns, while Greg uses his wits. They're equally dangerous. Funny talk for a masked man. Well, let it go. But just a second. You bring me here without getting my opinion on it. Now I'd like to know what for. To make sure you'll give your testimony. You claim to hear what we said. If you did, you ought to know that's what I aim to do. If Greg permitted it. He can have me arrested, sure. But that wasn't going to stop me from saying my say in court. A bullet would, however. Huh? Greg evidently hoped to blackmail you into silence. He can't. But he knows that turning you over to the law won't serve his purpose. He'd get revenge, yes. If there was nothing else he could do, he'd likely be contented with that. What are you getting at? Just this. He might want revenge, but he doesn't want it half as much as he wants your silence. Arrested, you'd still be allowed to testify. And there's only one way you could be stopped. Huh? By murder. You you really think that? I wouldn't have taken a hand in this if I didn't. Murder? Stay with Tato and me until court opens again and you'll be safe. Well... And if you wish... Yeah? Tell us what Greg has on you. Perhaps we can help. Nobody can. How can you be certain? And how do I know you ain't just trying to worm it out of me so as you can try some blackmail? How do I know you didn't get the idea when you heard what Greg threatened? You don't know. I can give you my word, but of course you have no reason to accept it. Just so. In that case, all I can say is you couldn't be much worse off if you told than you are already. Greg will take care of that. Doggone. And what is it? I, I wish I was to home. I wish I could just sit in Mary's rocking chair for a couple minutes. Yes? Then maybe she'd tell me what to do. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Three days went by. In the cafe where Milt's disappearance was the main subject of conversation, a dozen theories were advanced and... Uh... You know how it looks to me, fellas? How's that? It looks to me like that masked hombre Milt was seen riding away with was some fella headed in for him. Likely some crook Milt had had trouble with that we never heard of. Fellas, I hate to say it, but I bet we don't never see Milt alive again. You agree with me, Judge? Nonsense. Of course I don't. Huh? Why not? Cause that blasted piano over there sounds something fierce. Oh, what's that got to do with it? Gets me too mad to agree with nobody. <laughs> Barkeep. Yeah, Judge. Give all the boys a drink. It's for my private bottle. Not that engine at the end of the bar, just them you know. Sure thing. And tell the professor to quit persecuting that poor, unresistant piano. Or I'll have him up for disturbing the peace. <laughs> right. Cut the opera, Jack. You're upsetting the jar. <laughs> Here comes Zeke. Uh, Hello, 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 Fred. Now what? Uh, look, Fred, you've got to do me a favor. Do I? Uh, uh, give me another postponement on that trial. Why for? I can't go into court without my main witness. You know doggone well I can. Mm, meaning Milt? Of course. Uh, give me another week to try and find him. Just one more week. You still got a couple of days before the trial? A couple of days ain't going to be enough. Can't help that. But Luke will go free. Zeke? Luke Daly is a, a skunk, a polecat, a, a mean, ornery coyote, or anything else you see fit to call him. But nonetheless, you can't hold a man in jail forever just because you hope someday to have evidence to keep him there legal. You come to court with a case on the day I set or let Luke go. Gosh, Fred, and I always thought we was friends. Uh-huh. We are. But that don't count where I'm a judge. Heard what you said, Judge. <laughs> it does you credit. <laughs> Think so, Greg? It's a real pleasure to know my client will be tried by a fair-minded man. Poor Luke, friends, is a misfortunate victim of circumstance. As an honest fellow as ever drew breath, he'll He's be He's the biggest scoundrel ever went unhung. But you just said that. I'd give him his legal right and a will. But aside from that, we all know what the varmint is, and we're all hoping he gets what he's asked for. But you... Oh, forget it and drink up. Folks, the barkeep's filled your glasses. I'm proposing a little toast. Well, let's have it, Fred. Go ahead, John. Well, gents, here's to the lady with the scales in her hands and the, the bandana across her eyes. Her handle's justice. And I'm here and now making a promise. <clears throat> Folks, as long as I'm judge in this county... That lady's blindfold ain't going to be fixed so tight that once in a while she can't slip it aside to get a peek at the true facts. There. Now let's drink up. later at the masked man's secret camp. And Greg said nothing so far, Tonto. You're sure of that? Uh, and bears out what I've suspected. Mister, I wish you'd let me in on what you got up your sleeve. Look, I've told you all you asked me. You know about me shooting and killing Slim Beckett 15 years back. You know about Greg holding that straight and slim roto out, accusing me before he died. Ain't I done my share? Can't I know what's up? You'll know in good time. First, I want to make sure of my facts. But blast it all, you... trial's in two days. Yes, but and I want to... You'll be there to testify. In the meantime, you're staying in camp. We don't want you killed. What's the difference between being dry gulched by a crooked lawyer and being hung for killing? I'll see that Greg is told you'll be in court. But that's what I mean. When I tell my story, Greg's going to tell his. And even if I don't hang, the least I'll get is jail. You won't hang and you won't go to jail. I tell you... And you Greg's don't... getting the surprise of his life. You seeing him now? I am. Tonto, uh, keep Milt safe. Me do him. Come on, Gilbert. Come on, boy. It was evening when the masked man arrived in town, and not long afterwards, the loungers in front of the cafe were startled to see the sheriff burst from his office down the street and come running toward them. Hey! Where'd he go? Who's seen that outlaw? Hi there, Rob! You're a calculating to lose it! What in heaven's 
the sheriff yelled. Well, that's like he was robbed again. What's that about an outlaw? Hey, Sheriff, what's up? A masked man. He was in my office. Where'd he go? A masked man? Well, what was he after? Steal anything? Didn't steal a thing, blast him. But no outlaw's going to force me to answer a lot of foolish questions at the point of a gun and get away with it. I want that feller found. Scour the town, you rannies. Get that man. <laughs> Fuss outside. Something's happened. Man. Back inside, Greg. What? Inside, you hear me? What do you? The masked man. Sure, the masked man rode off with milk. They're searching for me. They'll be here in a second. I was just ahead of them. You can they come to the door? Tell them I'm not here. Why you come back here? I'm here to tell That's them. Answer the door. Send them away. Are you in there, Greg? Are you there? Tell them you haven't seen me. Hurry. And don't forget I'm armed. Well, well, what's the matter? for a masked man that held up the sheriff, Greg. Got orders to search the town. You seen him? I, I, uh, Have you? Uh, no, no, I, I haven't seen the fella. Well, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Come on, fellas. Try the livery stable, right? They're, they're gone. You're lucky, Greg. You've learned how to obey orders. What do you want with me? Court reopens the day after tomorrow. Uh, they Milt's me. been gone. You've probably been hoping he planned to stay away until the trial was finished. Until it would be impossible to call him for a witness against Luke Daly. What's he going to do? He'll be at that trial, Greg. And he'll testify for the prosecution. The fool. And in the meantime, forget any idea you may have of finding him. We know you'd like to close his mouth. You won't. He's hidden. And he'll remain hidden until the trial begins. That's what you come for? To tell me that? Right. You know where Milt is? I do. Then you tell him something for me. Well? You tell him I said if he figures I was bluffing, he's made a mistake. Bluffing? He'll know what I mean. Just tell him that in them same words. Uh, well, I will. And when you've done it, mister, don't be surprised. Surprised? If Milt ain't half so anxious to get to court as you seem to think. The day of the trial arrived. The courtroom was crowded. And when the doors opened to admit Milt Cummings, a wave of excitement swept through the place. Quiet! Quiet! That's you, Milt. About time. Pete nearly had a fit. Take your seat beside him. Greg was seated beside Luke Daly at a table. The lawyer glanced at Milt nervously and... He did show up. I never figured he'd have the nerve when it come right to it. He's going to testify. Well, I, you I, said he wouldn't. You promised it. What kind of a lawyer are you anyhow? Hush up, hush up, will you? You want the judge to hear you? You want to spy on everything completely? Sure, I'll hush up. But you listen to me, Greg. Now, Luke, you You'll can't... be took care of for this. I got friends. They'll see to it. And when they do, Greg, you'll wish it stayed out of the law and took a punch and instead... Am I to blame? What do I care? I wanted a lawyer to get me clear. And you've proved you couldn't handle the job. Silence! Silence! All right, Zeke, go ahead. My first witness will be Milt Cummins. Take the stand, Milt. Sure, Judge. Clem, swear the witness in. Thomas, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, I'll do. I do. I'll fix Milt. Luke, see this paper? It's that statement I told you about. Wait till I shove this in front of Milt's face. Your Honor, what is it? Just one second. I got something to say to the witness. You're out of order. Get back to your seat. I want to remind the witness that if he don't tell the truth, he can be jailed for it. Get back. Get back. I got it here, Milt. Slim statement. And by heavens, I'll use it. Greg, you're in contempt of court. Clem, grab a hold of him. Get him. Make him sit down. Uh, I apologize, Your Honor. I, I forgot myself. Well, I'll overlook it just this once. But if it happens again, it'll cost you a penny. Now sit down. Yes, Your Honor. Stay where you are. That's him. That's the masked man. Get him, fellas. Hold him for me. Those shots are a warning. The first man to lay a hand on me will be sorry for it. Now to watch them. Me watch them. This year's a court of law. Well, what's going on here? Bless me if I ever seen the beat. Sheriff. Hold it. 
You, Greg. Get back. You've got a paper there with writing on it. That paper contains a dying statement of a man accusing his killer. Turn that paper over to the sheriff. I won't. Oh, no, bless you, masked man. You're double-crossing me. You said you'd see I wouldn't hang or go to jail. Now you're giving that paper to the law. Trust me, Milton. You lied to me. You, you lied to me. You're indifferent. Sheriff, take that. No, you don't. Don't try to get away. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Here you are, Sheriff. What thunder's this? Read it. Why'd you do it, masked man? You promised me. You said I could trust you. That you statement said that... won't get you in trouble. And Greg here knew it. But you've got He that... took advantage of your ignorance. Judge. Huh? What? Uh, oh. Well, it's about time somebody paid little attention to me. I... Milt has told me his story. Fifteen years ago, he got in a gunfight with a man named Slim Beckett. He wounded Slim in a fair fight, but he had no witnesses to prove it. Except for Greg here. Slim Beckett? I've heard that name before. You have. He was an outlaw with a price on his head. But Milt didn't know it. When Greg got the dying statement from Slim accusing Milt of his death, Milt thought Greg had a hold over him. The fact is, Milt not only did society a favor when he killed Slim, but there's still reward money waiting for him. That's why you held me up in my office and asked all them questions. You was making sure Slim was the fellow you had in mind. Right. Then, then that explains why Greg didn't want to show that statement even after threatening he would. I could only be scared by it as long as he didn't use it so as I could find out the truth. Correct. And I said you was double-crossing me. Well, doggone. Hold on! Hold on! There's still a trial to be held here. Sheriff, arrest Greg there for contempt of court, obstructing justice, intimidating witnesses, and getting me some man I can't digest my dinner. And you, masked man, I want you to... Well, well I'll be switched if he ain't gone. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.